Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 4200, Mining 4x4, as 102 pieces for ages 5 to 12, and it's from the City Mining Series, and this set retails for $11.99. And I'd like to give a shout out to LEGO Maniac 8824, Crazy Ross 99, LEGO Kid 413, and Too Many Bricks, because they are the subscribers who had requested that I review this set. So everyone, check out their channels. And moving forward here in the front, we can see him trying to blow up this rock here, which is not practical. So I'm guessing he's doing it for fun. And here in the side, we have the minifigure. I'll have more on that later. And here in the back, it looks kind of like a comic strip. You can see him unloading the tools, blowing up the rock, striking rich, and then running away with it. And I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. Starting with the minifigure, we get a hardworking fella. And you can tell he's hardworking because he doesn't have the time to shave. And there's a close look at his face. He has a pair of safety glasses on, which, by the way, you don't really know how important they are until something hits you in the face. And there's the torso. He's got a pair of pliers printed right there. And on the back, he's got a hammer, which doesn't look like it's in minifigure scale. So that's a pretty small hammer. I love the hat, though. This is like a new molding. And you have this piece attached to the front there. This way he's got a light. And there we go. And he comes with a bunch of toys here. We have a warning sign to show you that if you get too close, bricks will fly in your direction, and you get this sticker to throw on there. And we have a detonator, which by the way, there's no wire attached to the dynamite, so I'm guessing they use wireless technology now. And you just press that in, and it's supposed to explode. And here's the dynamite with a timer, which I guess does not work very well. Otherwise, why would you need a detonator, am I right? And we get a mining pick. And if you don't like to do things manually, you get a drill, which is pretty effective and you get a crate to hold all of your junk and finally we got a rock that reminds me of World of Warcraft because when you crack it open you'll find yourself with six rough stones and two copper ores actually this is supposed to be gold and hopefully that's enough to help him get himself a new car here is the 4x4 which is a very plain and simple design it's actually built in a very similar fashion to previous models of city 4x4s and here's the view of the side where we have an opening door, we have a black side view mirror, we have a clip for the drill, and we have no wheel drive. Here's a view of the back, and right there we get a sticker for a license plate, which is SJ4200. And here's the view of the top, and right there we get another sticker, which shows the city mining emblem, which is just a hard hat and two picks. Here's the view of the front, here's the view of the other side, and we have another clip to hold the mining pick, and there's the bottom. And to throw the minifigure in there, you just pop this open. And if you look inside, it's a red interior, uh, except for the steering wheel, because I think they should have made that in red. But it doesn't really matter. We we'll just throw them in there. It's pretty simple. And we'll close that back up. And in the back here, we can hold the crate, which, by the way, this is probably the best you can do to cram everything in there. It is a pretty small box. And we'll just attach it right there. And there we go. Now, the only drawback to having so much stuff in the back there is if you try this, over a rough surface, like a bunch of studs, things will tend to fall out. See? But I guess that's okay, it's not a big deal. Just drive slowly. And now we can move on to the recommendations. Overall, I say it's a good set, not too bad. When it comes to the value, we are seeing a price per piece ratio of 11.7 cents per piece, which is not that great. And according to Bricklink, we're getting about $11.62 worth of parts here, not including the minifigure, which I guess is fair since this retails for 12 bucks. So if you plan to get this set, a small discount would be nice. And when it comes to the play value, I would say it's pretty good because we do get a lot of little accessories for you to play with. And I would say that this is mostly recommended for the younger generation. And in the end, this will make a nice addition to any of your city sets. And that sums up my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.